this random quotes project we're going to be accessing our quotes online through the ajax and for the ajax we're going to be using vanilla javascript first we obviously need to create our html and css structure so therefore over here you can see that i have index html then i have over here main css where we're going to have our styles and this is going to be the script js right so we're going to start with index html and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to say that i would want a basic skeleton right so again you can do the same that i'm doing in brackets or in your text server you probably have the same option right so where you can get right away a basic skeleton for the html and over here we're going to say that this is going to be english the title we might as well going to say that this is going to be js which is going to stand for javascript obviously right and then we're going to go over here in the body and first we're going to put our elements right so over here what we're going to have this is going to be div and the class is going to be container or here container and you can see that i uh, forgot to actually use the emmet right then we're going to have a div that is going to be quote text quote text over here like this and then within this div we're going to have a heading one which is going to have an id of quote over here like this right then i press the tab and over here i'm going to say that if if you right would like over here to read uh a random quote quote over here or here click the button right so this is gonna be button below right so this is gonna be our text and then we're gonna have a paragraph which is gonna have an ID of author so I'm gonna write over here paragraph and this is gonna be author here like this and then we're gonna have a by coding addict in it right so here we're gonna have a line and then I'm gonna say by coding addict or here like this and then once this div is over right so once we have worked in this div still in the container we're going to add a button over here we're going to say the button is going to have an id and we're going to say this is going to be btn right so very uh naive right id in a normal case we obviously wouldn't use something like this but because this uh project is so small we can do it like this over here and i'm going to say click here and now what i would need to do is obviously link main css and javascript right so here I can write link and I'm going to say main CSS and over here in the bottom of the body I'm going to say this is going to be obviously script and the source is going to be script JS so here source script and script JS so now that we're done with uh, the HTML we can go actually go ahead and go to main CSS right so I'm going to go to main CSS and we're going to start applying rules right and the first one is going to be for the whole body we're going to say over here we're going to say background color over here and we're going to say that this is going to be c e d zero c e right so the kind of grayish one then we're going to have min height and this is going to be 100 viewports then we're going to have a text align and we're going to say this is center and then we're going to have a padding which is going to be 100 pixels right and then after that we're going to have a rule for the actual container container over here and we're going to say that the background color is going to be actually white over here and then we're going to have a width and we're going to set it actually to 80 viewports over here like this and then we're going to have a padding of 40 pixels and then we're going to have a height and the height is going to be 35 uh, viewports right so over here height is going to be view height something like this so that one is going to be 35 and then we're going to have a border and we're going to say border left and this is going to be three pixels solid and we're going to say this is going to be the orange one one five f two zero five right so we're here then we're going to have a quote text over here quote i'm going to say text and the min height is going to be 20 right so we're going to say min height and 20 view height so we're here like this and then we're going to have a actual container and container heading one right so i'm going to write container and heading one and over here we're going to write that this is going to be font size over here and we're going to say 50 pixels and over here we're going to say this is going to be text align left text align not center we're going to say left 
over here and then we're gonna have the actual paragraph over here like this and we're gonna say container over here paragraph and over here we're gonna have text transform property so we're gonna say text transform and we're gonna say capitalize then we're gonna have a color and over here the color again is gonna be C E D zero C E right so something like this then we're gonna have a text align right then we're gonna have font style italic right style over here not stretch actually style we're gonna say this is gonna be italic and then let's actually create a little bit more room so we can work over here and once we have the italic then we're gonna have font size 30 30 pixels over here like this and then then we have two more rules and this is gonna be for the button right so over here I'm gonna say button and over here I'm gonna say margin margin top is gonna to be 30 30 pixels over here and then we're gonna have a font size of 25 25 pixels and then we're gonna have a padding of 10 pixels and 20 pixels and over here background color is gonna be black so background color and over here is one nine one nine one seven one six right and then we're gonna have a color and the color over here is gonna be F F one five zero two five right and then we'll have text transform to uppercase text transform to uppercase all right so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna say uppercase and once we have a button now we need a button hover right so over here I'm gonna write hover over here and I'm gonna say this is gonna be color and hashtag one nine one seven one six right and background color is gonna be actually orange so here we're gonna say that the background color is or here hashtag f one five zero two five right and now we can actually save this and check it out what we have without any logic right? and see the only thing we probably should fix over here right you can see that this button is not in our container right? and another thing we should change is actually a min height to 35 right? so we're going to go back to container and we're going to give it a viewport of height of 55 right so if i refresh over here now we have 55. now we're actually ready to go to our script js over here and start applying the logic and once we're in our script JS, the first thing that I'm going to do is declare the variables, variables over here. And then we're going to say this is going to be constant. And over here, we're going to say this is going to be button or here like this, BTN. And then we're going to say document and get element by ID, right? So get element, but by ID, right? So here we're going to say this is going to be button. And then we're going to need two more, All right? So we can just copy this guy or here like this. And then we're going to say this is going to be a quote, quote over here. And then we're going to have a button, right? So over here, we're going to say quote. Then we're going to have a author. So constant author or here like this. And then over here, we're going to write also author right so once th we have this then we're going to write our url right so where we're going to be getting our information so over here i'm going to say this is going to be const const and i'm just going to write it separately just so it's not uh overcrowding everything so and this is going to be a https or you're doing this then we're going to have a colon two forward slashes and we're going to have a coding and then it's going to be addict over here and then we're going to say la addict over here la now that we have this we're going to say github and then we're going to say io and this is going to be random random and this is going to be random quotes quotes over here and then this is going to be a quotes json right so over here we're going to write quotes and we're going to say this is going to be json Right. And once we have our URL, let's actually create a event listener, right? So over here, we're going to say BTN and we're going to say add event listener, right? So once we have a event listener or here, we're going to say this is going to be click event. And over here, we're going to write this is going to be get data, right? So once we have this, 
we obviously need to write right now this function to get data all right so here we're going to write this is going to be function and i'm going to call this get data function now it's not going to have any parameters and over here you can see that what we're going to be doing right so first we're going to say that this is going to be let and data right and this is a, actually going to be equal to new and this is going to be the old school style right so we're going to say h m l over here and http request right so we're going to say over here this one right so this is going to be new http request right so once we have this we actually can write that this is going to be data right so now we have the object and we're going to say on ready state change on ready state change and what should happen this is actually should be another function right so here we're going to say function right and in this function right so over here this was my mistake so in this function we're going to say if and this is going to be this ready state change so this right so now we're talking about the object ready state and this is going to be equal to four or here like this and also another uh, reasoning right another is going to be and so we're going to find our two hands and we're going to say this status or here this status and this is going to be equal to 200 or here like this 200 then what should happen right so over here we're going to say that if that's the case right so if this is successful or here we're going to say that this actually should be a let and over here i'm going to say quotes over here and i'm going to say this is going to be json json over here and i'm going to say parse and this response text right this and we're going to say response text right so over here we're going to have a response text right so now that we have our response text what we also need is a number right and just before we do this right so you can see over here this is the if right so if this is the if statement right and over here we're going to write this is going to be else right so this is if the fails right so over here we're going to write if request fails right so this is the successful one right and what we're going to say this is going to be let and we're going to say number or here like this and the number is going to be math and we're going to say floor floor over here and then we're going to have a math random math random and over here we're going to say this is going to be multiplied by the quotes length right so quotes over here length length over here like this so now that we have our random number now obviously we need to create our uh, actual html changes right so over here i'm going to say quote and i'm obviously going to targeting this one right get element by the quote and the quote html should be over here i'm going to say this is going to be actually equal to span right so let me do this way span and over here this is going to be a let's let's change this one to actually single quote right so over here this is going to be a single quote so let me copy this guy over here cut this paste it over here and this is going to be double quote over here and then we're going to say this is going to be span now once we have this span then over here we would want a quotes numbers quotes and we're going to say this is going to be a number right and once we have the number we're going to say over here quote right and over here you can see let's just double check that i'm spelling correctly right so we have quote quote and over here we're going to have another span right so this is going to be our html so i'm going to grab this guy over here copy paste it over here now we have it right and now we need for the author right so i'm going to copy this whole line copy this one over here and we're going to say author All right and obviously over here we also need author author and we can just delete this span All right so over here now and once we are done with on ready state change over here we also need to send it and actually open the data All right so still within this get data function over here like this we're going to say that this is going to be a make a request right so over here we're going to say make 
and over here we're going to write this is going to be data and we're going to say this is going to be open All right so first one is going to be open and once we open it or here we're going to say a in a quotation marks we're going to do get right then we're going to use the url that we created over here and over here we're going to say this is going to be true so over here true once we have this then we need to send it right so over here we're going to write data not over there actually over here in the bottom we're going to say data and we're going to say send over here and once we just make it as a function right so now we have everything we have our ham and listener then we have the, the data and within the data we created a new http request right and now we're actually sending this right but before we do that over here i made a mistake and actually this is not going to be html we're going to say that this is going to be actually inner html right because we're using a vanilla javascript we're not using jquery this would be for a jquery and once we set for inner HTML, now let's go ahead and let's check it out in our document. And in our document, you can see that everything is working, right? As I'm pressing over here, everything is clicking and everything is working fine. 